So now we've listened to some of our lecturers, but now we're going to listen to some of our students. And in particular, uh, some of our student leaders who have uh, joined us in this wonderful conversation on the faculty. So first we have with us Tamara Wickham, as well as Matthias Foster, uh, and they will share some of their experiences and also perhaps at the end give some advice to our prospective first year students. So Tamara, let me start with you. Uh, what are you currently studying at the faculty? What made you to decide to come to the faculty? You know, just, just as an introduction to who you are. Um, okay, so hi everybody, I'm Tamara. Um, I am studying a BTH youth work program. Um, what made me come to the faculty was that I really wanted to make an impact um, in my community. Um, and that was my idea coming into the faculty. And when I came into the faculty, I had an idea I wanted to do community work. But then I also just realized that the faculty offers so many different things. So I study youth work, but my end goal is to be a journalist because I really just want to impart knowledge and make knowledge known to everybody. So I think, yeah, that's what I wanted to do at the faculty. Wonderful. So hello, I'm Matthias and um, I study BDiv. I'm currently fourth year. And what made me decide to study theology? They always say there's um, two types of people that study theology. Those that um, came in thinking it was interesting and those that g gained a calling. And I'm part of the latter. I was at a young age where I was called by God to Joy I studied theology. I first didn't know what uh, you had to just study to work for God. And then my, and then my parents say theology is the, the way to go. So I said, fine, I'll study it. And, um, I must say when I came being here, it's so much different than what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy it thoroughly. Um, my end goal when it was through studying theology is hopefully to become a minister and maybe even doing a doctorate and becoming a professor, hopefully here at Stellenbosch. If Prof Reggie is still around, maybe he will accept me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Matthias, uh, just, just hold on. You, you said that when you came at the faculty, um, you discovered that it was different from, from what you expected initially. I, I'm going to ask you that again. How, in what sense was it different? Can you maybe just expand on that? Uh, so if I can maybe expand a bit on that. Um, I, I, come from, I came from Piketburg. So that is a very small town. It's very conservative. Many of the thoughts there are not always like as a faculty. And I was bombarded with all these new ideas, new concepts. Mm. And I must say, it was very interesting. I, I, I was, I was actually thinking I would struggle a bit with it. And sometimes I did struggle, mm. but you learn to love it. You learn to embrace it and you learn to see and you learn to you say to yourself that my opinion isn't always the right opinion. Mm. Others do matter. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Tomorrow from your side. Um, so initially when I came to the faculty, I didn't have a precise view on what theology was. I knew I wanted to come in to help, but like coming into the faculty, you see so many people from different backgrounds, different stories, different denominations. And you also learn that your view, like Matthias said, is not always the correct view or my view is not everybody else's view, but everybody else, but everybody shares a different view. So I think that was also very eye opening to see that everybody had a different view and we were all unique, mm. but still so have like a common foundation amongst one another. So I thought that was really cool coming into the faculty I didn't know that because everybody thinks theology is all about like the Bible and New Testament, Old Testament. And it was so much wider than that. Like mm. your knowledge is so much that you gain from it is so much greater than just Old Testament and New Testament. So, yeah. Mm. So if there's students out there, prospective students, uh, students who still, you know, they feel I want to make a difference. You know, I want to make an impact in, in my society. I feel that sense of calling, you know, I feel that sense of compulsion. You know, I want to make a change. Uh, my question to you would now be, why would they uh, have to choose Stellenbosch? Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm um, studying <laughs> Stellenbosch. It is a really good university, but um, specifically theology. Um, I th um, um, the dean has said earlier that there are so many different avenues that mm -hmm. you can find within theology so you can become 
a pastor like Matthias, a chaplain, a journalist. There's so many other avenues. And I think also when I look precisely at the faculty, when I look at the relations between lecturers and students, I see that lecturers challenge you more. And there's always this type of like gap between after class where you can go to them and ask questions where they challenge you. And you also realize that you can grow so much more and that you're challenged with so many more things than what you expected. So for prospective students, I think also so the theology faculty, um, you want to make a difference, but there's also so many other avenues that you can make a difference within theology that you can expand into as well as the lecture is always there to help you alongside. So they challenge you a great deal. And also you just become better after all the challenging mm. things mm. that they challenge you with. Yeah. Matthias? Um, if I can also just maybe sum it up for what I said tomorrow also says maybe it's that it's a sense of community mm -hmm. since we are a very I think one of the smallest faculties mm -hmm. on Stellenbosch campus you get that real sense of community you're a family there is no there's no strangers between one another as we as tomorrow said you have this almost like friendship that you grow with your friends of other denominations or even other faculties here and also with the like the lecture itself I mean, I can think of a few of the lecturers that I have um, good relationships with, and I always go to them when I have troubles and questions. And also, I think what Stellenbosch offers is the, the faculty itself is very great and very broadening since we are making strides within liberation theology, black theology, even feminist theology. Mm -hmm. And if that's not your root, like for me, what really hooked me when I wanted to come here was that the, off the offering up of um, biblical um, archaeology, which I would really like to do more one day if I get the chance. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I hear you, Matthias, if I get the chance. Uh, <laughs> so, in a sense, if I can summarize what you are saying is that it's that different pathways that theology offers for you beyond the pulpit. Yes, yeah. the pulpit, but also beyond that. You know, you refer to journalism. Perhaps you want to make a difference in your society through community development work, working with NGOs, etc. So the pathways, but also the fact that we are challenged, you know, to think differently, uh, challenged also within a diff space of diversity, you know, to grow. Uh, in different ways, and, and what you are referring to is the community, the sense of community that despite the fact that, yes, we have divergent views, and it's fine to be different, mm -hmm. uh, but there's also a sense of community. Um, and um, often, you know, I mean, if you compare, you refer to the, to the big and the smaller uh, faculties, often the smaller space provide more intimate relationships, you know, mm -hmm. whether it be among students, but also amongst Lecturers. Now, the two of you um, are, are leaders in the faculty. You are now the new chair of the Theological Student Committee, and you are the vice chair, or should I say, yeah. president of the Theological Student Committee. Uh, share us a bit the, the possibilities and the opportunities that is within the campus, you know, for leadership development, for making a difference in society, and specific things that 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 you can maybe think of that happened from the faculty. I mean, the GBV kind of protest, I'd like to hear what you're thinking of. So, so Matthias, let's start with you. What are the possibilities, you know, on campus, even within the faculty as well? So uh, our faculty is, has been in the news over the past few years with um, subjects like um, Lifters Lifter and advocating for um, the LGBTIQ community and, and I think uh, gay rights. So that's one of the things that is currently also going on. And also with the gender-based violence that um, is going on in our South Africa, which is really a very saddening thing, especially mm -hmm. even during this time of lockdown, we saw the gender-based violence also grew over time, especially here in the Western Cape. And with us, we also are advocates of, that are against it. For We always have Thursdays in Black mm -hmm. that is um, that was started by one of our own lecturers, um, uh, Prof uh, Professor Julie Clarsons, who um, is really striving there for this thing that they must, the, these things must stop. But also within our um, Stellenbosch area, we also have helping hands where, they, where we work at um, night shelters, if you feel that you want to go there. We also have Stratler, which, was, which is why part of the, I think the Kreiskerk, if you want to go into that, into that area of helping with children after school work. Mm -hmm. And also with um, certain NGOs within the area, which really strive to help and we really want to do things there. Mm. 
Um, okay, so when I'm looking at leadership and the opportunities that we have within the university, I know that the university offers a lot of courses and um, on leadership. So I know we have like um, health and leadership, we have facilitated leadership. So the, all of those things really shape you into being the perfect or most competent leader. Mm. Um, when I look at our faculty as well, I think one of my proudest moments within the faculty specifically was the GBV movement. Mm. And I know it was at an all time high last year with the protests at the university. Um, and I know that we as a faculty um, really felt it. Um, and I know that I went to the Dean, me and a few other colleagues and- Challenging you, the Dean. <laughs> yeah, we're really challenging him um, to make like a change and a difference or to to provide like a different outlook. And I think that had to be my most proudest moment because we really, he really walked alongside us to make like a change and also to offer different um, um, views. We had, we started having like, you could go to our chaplain to go for counseling if you really needed it because we know different people face different things. I think that was a really proud moment for me with our faculty, with him having an open arm to our suggestions and open and welcoming us to, what's his name, to talk about our struggles and our worries and our concerns and not just shutting us away, but really inviting us to speak. Mm. And also making an impact in the broader campus oh, definitely. environment. Definitely. Uh, I think that that was also a way in which a small faculty could impact a bigger campus environment as well. No, definitely. I remember also we were sitting with um, the late um, Mark Plykes and we had, we were invited the whole community and I remember the camaraderie amongst all of us. We were all just standing in solidarity for this cause. And I think the love that we just felt between all the members inside our faculty as well as outside for just all the same cause and also just standing for justice. I think mm. that was really a momentous Absolutely. occasion. Absolutely. So out there is perspective Faculty of Theology students. Um, they are not sure, you know, whether they'll be able to cope with their first year coming into faculty, coming into the campus of Stellenbosch. What practical advice uh, would you give to a first year student uh, joining faculty um, here at, at Stellenbosch? Um, okay, so as you have heard, um, the faculty is a really small faculty, so that means we have a really sense of community among us. So we're basically like a family, a family that laughs, argues, cries, again, argues a lot. <laughs> so I think um, what I would give to a prospective students is also making that cognitive decision to also become part of this community, to have conversations. Because I feel once you have these conversations, you realize that my struggles and your struggles are kind of similar. And we can kind of like help each other along this path because we are a really small faculty. So we kind of know what each other going, what, what each other's, what each other is going through. Sorry. Um, so I think that would be my one, um, nugget for a prospective mm. student is to become part of this community, become part of conversations. I think be kind as well, mm. be kind, be open, be receptive. Cause like we're going to come into this faculty and like my views, your views are going to be completely different. It's going to knock you upside the head. Don't be worried. It's all good. But I also think because we are the small faculty, we have each other to like walk alongside each other. Mm. So I think just become part of the conversation. We, it's really helpful. Mm. Matthias? For me, I think that the advice that I would give um, would be be willing to listen. As I feel since many of us, we want to shut our ears to what some truths are and some opinions and that it's not actually the right thing to do. Sometimes we must just be there to listen to what others have to say and respect. That's the second thing that I would also do, respect what others say when listening. And I think that you must also don't be afraid also to stand up for, for what you believe in and what you, and what you feel is the right thing. Mm. Because even though there is differences, it shouldn't be that you must give up your moral beliefs and what you believe is the truth. Because if it was that there, were only, there was only one eternal truth, then the world would be a bit boring, I think. Mm -hmm. So I think that, yeah, that, that is what I would do. And that's my practical advice. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Now, you will see that all over the, the country, there are different teachers, maybe ministers, um, that makes a difference in their communities. There are the well-known names like Professor Russell Botman, who became the rector of the university. Uh, um Bayers Nodia, who became a leader in the South African context. Where did they start? They started here where Matthias and uh, Tamara is here today. 
students within the faculty community, within the Stellenbosch Faculty of Theology, student leaders who make a difference here, and that's how they grow towards becoming key leaders in our society. And you can also make that difference. Join us at the Faculty of Theology at Stellenbosch University.